So, yep, we are now locked down. We are now locked down with the remote ID. And what I'm hearing is there'll be no backing out of it. And that is, that is where we're sitting. Uh, hey, this is Dad Random, a little bit loud. Uh, I, had to, I had to do a quick stop because uh, I want to do a test really quick. Um, today there was a, uh, an, an update and wow, this is like a really busy time. Um, there was an update today, a software update uh, on the uh, Avada and that software um, is going to have, a, is, going to, is going to affect the way we launch retrieve and uh, where we operate the Avada. So what I want to do is just do a, a, do a test uh, trying to activate the Avada um, with the new software just to see what it does. So I'm basically going to just make it do a simple launch test um, with and without. Go ahead and activate the Avada. Here we go. Go ahead and Put it right here in front of me. Hopefully we can see me pretty good. Try not to, I don't want to get the, uh, there we go. We got a beautiful backdrop today. Let me get that right there. Right. It should be good. Um, and let's go ahead and turn my goggles on. Now this morning I, I, I got suckered into an update. I, I call it getting suckered in because that update has a major flaw in it and it has to do with RID and I don't know why they pumped the RID out at us this early probably to see what we're gonna we're gonna do with it but remote ID is what is going to dictate to whoever around uh, Karen or whoever uh, d wants to know about my flying um, so here we go let's check it out let's try to launch and our ID isn't supposed to come out till September and they roll it out with this uh, this firmware update. So let's check it out. Now I'm, I, I should have everything activated. I've got my I've got my goggles activated. I've got I've got. Let me just double check here. So we're gonna check it out. Check it out in the software. Connection failed. Try to link goggles to aircraft or go to menu, status, switch, air, uh, and there we go. Aircraft models. It's, so it's not, it's not connecting already. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and do the switch. I'm going to go ahead and connect up my goggles and see if that changes. This is the first launch since the update. So all it is is connected to my phone right now. Connecting to DJI Avada. Connection failed. Try to link goggles to aircraft or go to menu status to switch aircraft models. So we're going to go to that. Go to status. Go to switch. Got it. We're set up. It says. Okay, so already we've got a delay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shut down my goggles again. Let's see, so everything looks good, including me. Confirm, battery firmware version inconsistent, flight safety at risk, tap confirm. Firmware updating, make sure aircraft and goggles remain powered on. So what it's doing is it's updating, it's updating the goggles. So I do have a good link here. So one of the things I'm going to test is um, with my phone, I have a very, very low signal. It's just updating the firmware on my goggles. Maybe I should have just stopped that, <laughs> but they have to be matched. Otherwise, I won't be able to, I won't be able to launch at all. I just want to confirm that I can launch. So there we go. We're getting updates, checks.
There we go. There's me again. 100%. Uh, firmware okay. There we go. So everything looks normal. 57% uh, battery. We'll do a little flying and see. So everything looks good. Let's let's try to do it. Let's just do a normal launch here. Actually, let's disconnect the goggles and see what happens. I want to disconnect. Uh, it says remote ID error. Okay, so right now I've got a a remote ID error, and everything is connected. Let's see if I have to launch the. Yeah, we're back. See, let's go ahead and, and connect up the fly app. See if the fly app and it says go fly. So now I've yep, seen aircraft in low power state. So so now I have uh, I have the phone connected and I've got goggle view. Let me just go ahead and disconnect and see what happens. See what happens. If it gives me a remote ID error. Nope, it's now it says remote ID error. Let's see if it'll let me. Let's see if it'll let me take off. So I'm gonna go ahead. It, I can still see myself pretty good in the goggles. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this out here just in case it does spin up. See if that. Uh, no. So now with the remote ID error, without being connected directly to, that doesn't allow me to do anything. Okay. So let's go ahead and connect back up. Just like I said, I just want to verify the fact that I have to be now connected specifically up to error, uh, let's see, remote ID error. Go ahead and get my phone to activate here. Aircraft in low power state. So there I am. So I have to be literally visually connected and hence um, Ken Dono's uh, new connector. Let me tell you something, I do not want that hanging off of my controller and I'm just going to fly a little bit, might as well since I've got a, since I've got it activated. We got a motor starting, looks good. Now yeah, we're spun up. Fun up. Ah, here we go. Okay, let's give it a shot. Here we go. Ah, so much fun. And now I gotta have my phone sitting in my pocket while I have fun. Guy over there taking a picture. So I guess we can do a color check. We can see if we've got a uh, correction on our color. I have. Oh boy, we're getting a little low there. All right, oh man. I don't want to go on a long hike. There we go. We're looking into the sun. Let's get this. Let's get that. It says uh, eliminating some color banding. Do a little bit of adjustment to the camera there. Let's go ahead and look back this way. Now there's some really good color. Um, Thirty-nine. <laughs> We're not going very fast now. And I made the mistake of leaving a battery connected uh, or charging in my in my classroom. So I'm not gonna be able to fly more than I've already done. 
So we got Karen on the way here. Hopefully not, Karen. As I land my now tethered aircraft to my car. All right, so there it is. There's our flight. And one of the things, so yep, we are now locked down. We are now locked down with the remote ID. And what I'm hearing is there'll be no backing out of it. And that is, that is where we're sitting. And that's, that's what I feared this morning. And now I've got to live with the consequences of the update. So here it is. Hopefully that video is amazing. But we are now a tethered flyer with a phone now sitting in our pocket. Um, let's see if I can, let me just put it in my pocket right now just to see. I'm just gonna put this phone right here and see how the goggles are. Look, it doesn't look like it's too bad. So basically we're sitting like this. Uh, could be worse, I guess, huh? There it is. I've now got my phone once again uh, part of something I don't want it to be part of and I didn't ask for it all right dad ran I'm verifying remote ID now into his DJI Avada verification so for dad random and uh, remote ID whether you like it or not uh, don't update your Avada guys because you're gonna be like me sitting with a cord wrapped around your freaking neck uh, where you used to be free. <laughs> so, uh, I guess, I guess later, bye.